Hi, this is Mindy Benini, and welcome to part four of the Turnitin Peer Mark process for peer review. We are now on the final step, and that is where the instructor is going to grade a review. We are not grading the original student paper that was submitted. We are grading our reviewers. Right, we are going to start off in Oaks or Desire to Learn, and we are going to click on our assignment. Again, we were in content. And we've seen this screen before. This is the, all of the original submissions. What we want to do, though, is we want to go into PeerMark. Now, I'm going to drop into Setup because this is an important component in PeerMark Setup. So my maximum available points is 10. But if I scroll down here to the bottom under Additional Settings, this is an important component right here, and how these grades are tallied is based on what you've chosen here. So it says that students will receive the maximum points available if they write a review. So in this particular case, if they just did the review, no matter how good or how bad, they're going to get the full 10 points. If I say no, then I have to manually grade them. So when I was first doing this, I chose yes, but I'm going to show you how you can change that later on. All right, back at the top, I'm going to go under the peer mark menu, and this time I'm going to choose peer mark reviews. Now what you see on this screen are the, your students, your reviewers, and how many items they have reviewed. So in this case, this student has reviewed zero of the three that they're supposed to whereas my next student has done one out of the three. And this is the one we're going to look at. This column here under Received shows me how many reviews that student has gotten. So the first one submitted is how many reviews that the student has given. The Received is how many reviews the student has gotten. You may be noticing that there is a discrepancy between the Received and the Submitted, and that's because I reviewed this student here. You can see that it's green and that gives us the two. All right, so we want to go through and we're going to grade Chris Lindell's. So I'm going to click on this number here and it takes me to the very first one that he did. If he had done more than that, I would be able to scroll through them. But so the author was TLT student, the author of the paper. And I'm going to come over here and click review. Now before I do that, you'll notice that this student already got 10 out of 10 or 100%. And that was because I had that box checked as yes, where they would get full credit by just doing a review. However, if I click the blue check mark on the right hand side, this is going to take me into the reviewed paper. And here I can see the name of the student who wrote the paper and the name of the reviewer. And it was listed as 100% complete. And that is based on the form that I gave them to complete. He completed every piece of it, and that's how he got his 100%. So here's what he wrote for the first question. Here's what he wrote for the second. And then he rated this student's paper a 4 out of 5 in both of these areas. Now, if I agree with that, I'll leave it as a 10 out of 10. But if I feel like this student did not go the extra mile, especially in these narrative areas, I can easily come up here and click Edit and give this student a lower grade. At this point, I can go and use these arrows here if I were going to click on the next student, but unfortunately I only have one, so I won't be able to show you how that feature works. Right, let's close this window, and now you'll see that the student has a grade of 8 out of 10. All right, so I've given this student an 8 out of 10, but you'll notice that his grade is a 3. The reason is He's only done one of his three, so it's averaging. So even though he got an 80% or an 8 out of 10, it's really an 8 out of 30, so that's where this 3 is coming from. If he had done all three of them and I graded all three of them, then you would see this number be much larger. Now one thing to keep in mind as you are grading your reviewers, this grade will not pass to the Oaks gradebook. These grades must be manually entered into the gradebook if you want to have them count in the final grade. 